Okay, for the Angry Birds hair bow, you're going to need three tuxedo style hair bows. I'm going to put a link below to that tutorial. You're going to need two red and one white. And I used eight to ten inches of ribbon, one and a half inch ribbon, for these tuxedo bows. So go ahead and make those, and then we'll get started. Okay, once you have all three tuxedo style bows ready, we're going to be putting them together. The white is going to go on bottom, and the two red are going to go on top. Now how we're going to put these together is, take them in your hand, white at bottom, and then stack the red on top, just line up the middles. Just be sure you hold them. Just stack all three together. Kind of fluff them out a little bit. We're going to stack them like this and then we're going to secure it with some thread. Just be sure you're holding. And wrap it good and tight. Trim off your excess. Okay, and once your hair your bows are on top of each other, just need to fluff it up so it's good and round. So this is gonna be our bird's head and body. And it should look about like that. Okay, the hardest part is done. Now we're just going to be adding our face. You're going to need some googly eyes, a piece of 7 8 inch orange grosgrain ribbon, a small piece of 3 8 inch black ribbon, and then another small piece of 1 and a half inch red. And of course your glue stick, your scissors, and your lighter. And here's what our Angry Bird, our finished Angry Bird looks like. See, we've got a beak, the eyes, the angry eyebrows, and then up here, his little headpiece. And of course, mine's a girl, I had to add a bow, but you do not have to do that. So now what you're just going to need to do is start gluing everything together. You might want to go ahead and get all your pieces ready before you start the gluing. For the eyebrows, just take your 3 8 inch ribbon and you're just going to clip it in two. Just make two eyebrows. Just like that. Now be sure you heat seal these. I'm going to put those to the side. Got our eyebrows. Now for the beak, take your orange ribbon and we're going to be folding it into a beak. And to do that, just angle your ribbon like so. And then you'll flip it over and you'll have a beak. And then just glue the backs of these and trim off the excess. So here's what we did. We just angled like that. And then we angled up like that. And you flip it over, and you can see it looks like a beak. And like I said, glue this together and then trim off this part. And here's what my finished beak looks like. So now we've got our beak and our eyebrows. And put that up there. And you'll need to get your eyeballs ready. Just two eyeballs. And then we are going to be making this headpiece up here. And for this, just take your red ribbon, trim off just a piece, clip it in two, and we're just going to take it and fold it and glue it 
I'll show you how I did it. Just put a little bit of glue at the edge and just fold it up. And do that one more time. Add your glue. And fold it up. And then we have this. And of course, heat seal your ends. See, there's one piece. Now you just need one more. Do the same thing with this ribbon. And once you have both pieces, you just need to glue them to each other. And of course, kind of angle them. Like so. And this part is just going to be glued up underneath your the top of your bow like that and here's what it's gonna look like and you got your little headpiece up there now we're just gonna be putting our eyeballs our beak and our eyebrows on here and that's just gluing everything on and put your beak kinda right here in the middle and it'll cover up some of that white thread you might want to use red thread but of course I didn't because I was in a hurry. So like I said, just glue your beak right here in the middle. And what I did to give mine a little bit of dimension was fold it like this, fold it up, and then get something to secure it for a little bit. And then it'll look like a beak like that. It'll sit up. Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and glued my eyeballs on. For this t particular Angry Bird, you need to put them close together. And then depending on how you lay your ribbon down, they'll move. Let's see, I'm going to start looking angry. Now we're just going to put our eyebrows on. Okay, now I've put my eyebrows on. And, of course, like I said, the hair bow up here is totally optional. If you want to do that, all I did was a simple classic style bow. But our Angry Bird is now ready, and he's ready to be worn.